We are Avail Logistics, a freight forwarder located in the U.S. Today, we will explain how does port congestion happens and how it can affect your business. Vessel and port congestion levels in 2021 so far have been unprecedented, significantly impacting capacity in the container and disrupting global supply chains. Congestion is a major factor influencing vessel availability and rates as global economies continue to recover this year in the wake of the pandemic. Global shipping congestion has been profound in many ways. From COVID-19 related port disruptions, the consequences of the Suez Canal blockage in March, to the imbalance between supply and demand, making 2021 a roller coaster ride for many in the supply chain network. But what is port congestion? Port congestion happens when ships arrive at the port and cannot load or unload, as the port capacity is already full. The only choice for the ships is to queue up and wait for their turn to get a spot at the port. Port congestion is known to occur in container terminals around the world, and this delay is a leading factor to the increase in container ships, which has grown 1,452.68% in the last 50 years. So, what is the main reason for congested ports? Basically, the main reason is the imbalance between supply and demand. The increase in demand has skyrocketed the level of goods being transported in all directions contributing to port congestion. To meet this global demand, the world's second biggest shipping line Maersk has been constantly increasing its fleet size. COVID-19 also triggered a major effect on the port congestion, many countries entered a lockdown, and economic activities were restricted. This significantly reduced the number of port staff and slowed down the cargo turnaround time at terminals. At the same time, factories worldwide temporarily closed. To maintain freight and avoid economic losses, shipping lines quickly reduced the number of operating ships. At the beginning of 2021, world economic activities started to recover, countries resumed their production, and export volumes increased, especially from China to North America and Europe. However, shipping lines still operated with fewer ships, meaning lack of space, and a deficiency in port workers continued. The demand heavily exceeded supply, and as a result, freight prices reached historical figures. Another impact of port congestion is increased anchorage waiting time. In November 2021 there were 32 vessels waiting at Anchor Los Angeles, California port. Ships usually wait at the anchorage before they can enter the port, anchorages are locations where the ships can halt and protect themselves from bad weather. Port congestion and detention are deeply intertwined, the container user is the one being charged detention, let's say that's you. You're leasing a container, you have a set amount of free days to deliver the container back to the shipping line. But for some reason, it might be because of port congestion or lack of capacity that you cannot deliver it back in time. You are then charged with detention for every day you are late. You will usually have between 3 to 5 free days to return the container to the terminal depending on the shipping line you booked with. Days that the container is available to pick up at the terminal is called demurrage, which is also between three to five free days and is charged by the port. Usually, after free days, you will be charged 100 to 200 US dollars per day afterward, which is very costly. We will have a video explaining the differences between demurrage and detention charges and how they work. Port congestion also restricts the number of trips a trucker can do in a day, as the turnaround time for the truck suffers greatly, and impacts on the trucking company or worse, the drivers, some of whom could be independent operators contracted to a trucking company. As you can see, exporters, importers, shipping lines, haulers, forwarders, terminal operators are all affected by port congestion and have to contend with additional costs when ships and cargo do not move efficiently through the terminals. The impact of port congestion is far-reaching and affects all industries resulting in a slowdown in business, lack of inventory in stores, customers having to air freight certain essential goods to alleviate shortages, especially of the consumer goods. Seasonal goods may not arrive in time or may not be exported in time. To deal with port congestion, on October 25th, the Port of Long Beach and Port of Los Angeles announced a container excess dwell fee to reduce the volume of vessels waiting at anchorage. 
The fee is designed to speed the flow of cargo from terminals amid unprecedented congestion dating back to summer 2020 and exacerbated by peak holiday shipping season and crowded ports. Recently on November 29, 2021, the Port of Long Beach and the Port of Los Angeles announced a further postponement of the container dwell fee. The two ports said the fee will not be considered prior to December 6. The executive directors of both ports will reassess fee implementation after another week of monitoring data. This is early, but a promising sign that each link in the chain is working together to help more goods leave the ports and to free up more space on the ports. Please follow our Facebook page where we provide daily updates about global shipping and logistics to help you save time and money. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to this video if you want us to create more content like this. Also comment below if you have any questions. Avail Logistics, think of Avail as another word for help.